Hell yeah. Yo, Cuts by Reggie, back with another video, right? If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, comment, like, share, stay engaged, right? This is a quick video, promise. This is gonna be, I promise, I promise, it's gonna be quick, right? So, as y'all know, I used to be only about the Tiana's Outliners, which is, while they're still here, they're still good. They're still the go-tos at times, right? But if you've been following me, you know I have switched over to the gold FXs, the FX, whatever, right? This is a custom FX with the uh, graphite blade, and this is the gold FX, right? And this has been my go-to for a long time. And I don't quite see it changing, but also, y'all do know that the Sabres came and it's been a close second. So gold on gold, we've been going back and forth with these two, but this is not about the Sabres. This is not even a comparison video or nothing like that. This is just to talk about the chameleon blade that Babeless have dropped, right? So I have the set, the rose gold. Both of these have the chameleon blade. The low pros, the clippers, they cool. Uh, I like them even better with this blade just because I don't like the... Um, the other blade that's on the other, I can't even think of the name of that blade. The wedge blade, not a fan of the wedge blade, right? But this is, not, like I said, it's not even about all this. This is just to talk about this Chameleon FX blade, right? So if you've used Babeless, I don't know if it's been your experience, but this has been my experience. Every time I get a new trimmer from Babeless, in the beginning, the blade don't seem to really give off a good cut it takes it usually take time to really get that blade to working right to get that play to that blade to really do what it's supposed to do like when everybody else was talking about the gold fixes at first i was dogging them i hated them just because when i got them they didn't seem to tap like everybody else's right even when i zero gapped them they didn't seem to give that that clean that crisp cut right so at first, I wasn't on them. After a while, I was like, so everybody really talking about this trimmer, let me go back to them. Put it to use and still wasn't feeling it. After a while, it started really to give, really started to give a smooth cut. With this Chameleon FX blade, I did zero gap it a bit, but it don't, ooh, that, that's all on me. But it don't take a while to get it to going. Once you get this where you want it, it's leaving crisp, nice lines. It moves smooth, uh, smooth against like balding out. And I know don't bald out with your trimmers. Whatever. Shut up. Right? I do. It just, I don't know. And it could be the machine. I don't know. I've always liked the low pros. I just always like to go back to the go to effects only because of the feel. These feel like very tiny. I don't feel like I can do what I want to sometimes. But I've been using this. Only because this Chameleon FX blade is so nice, so smooth, it's, it's beautiful. And that's really all I got to say, I had to say. Like I said, we weren't going to be here long. If you haven't used the Chameleon FX blade, try it. Get it for your gold FXs, just get it. If you want to get the low pros, get the low pros. But if you can find it, just get the blade. The blade is so nice. That's so nice. That's all I had to say. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, comment, like, share, all the good stuff. And we'll be back with another video sometime next week, maybe later this week. Who knows? Who knows? Peace.